Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify extrema using GeoGebra. First, of course, we need to graph our function. Um, but even before that, you need to get into your browser and go to GeoGebra.org. You can download various versions of these apps for your devices, but you know, using a browser is fine. GeoGebra.org. So let's navigate here to this three by three grid you see, and graphing calculator will suffice. And if you notice, it reminds you that they have an app. Oops, I need to leave this. That shouldn't come up for you. I had something else that I'd been working on that I closed up. Anywho, here on top, they're reminding you they have an app. You can ignore that. They also have this keyboard here. You can click around and use it. Um, it's especially handy if you don't know um, how to type the Greek letters and you need them. But otherwise, you can go ahead and exit out. We don't need it. So here on the input, I'm going to type in f of x equals 2 over x. And now my cursor's here on the bottom of that fraction, and I want to type in a plus next, but I don't want it to be at the bottom of the fraction, so I need to hit my right arrow. So right arrow, if you're using this keyboard here, you would be on the one, two, three screen, and notice here there's a right arrow key. And then I'm going to close this out again, because I'd rather use my normal keyboard. Now I'm going to type in plus x over 3. So there is the function that we've just graphed. And you notice the dots went away, but if I tap the function, the dots come back. Those taps are extreme values. So here is a local maximum. Let's see what that is. When x equals negative 2.45, our graph reaches a local max of negative 1.63. And here we have a local minimum. When x is equal to about 2.45, our graph has a local minimum of 1.63. So we can see a lot from this. We can see that our graph is increasing here from negative infinity to negative 2.45, and then it's decreasing here. But then it starts increasing again at positive 2.45 infinity. So the interval of increase would be from negative infinity to negative 2.45 union with 2.45 to infinity. The interval of decrease would start at negative 2.45 and go close, close, close to zero, but never hit zero. And then it would start again at zero and stop at 2.45. I hope you found this video helpful.